The only other thing that you could argue they are watching perhaps more closely is football season because they all have fantasy football drafts, right? So when you say deflate gate, they're like, oh yeah, that's yesterday. Deflategate has pretty much been put on the back burner or forgotten by now, and fans are getting so amped up for the game tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Steelers versus the Patriots. Yes, with Tom Brady holding that ball. We've got Ben Roethlisberger, who is facing off against Tom Brady, and you can only imagine that with the scandal that has plagued the NFL over just the past last year, the popularity, though, has not waned at all. As Americans are set to bet, get this, $95 billion on NFL and college football, football combined this season, we wanted to know who are fans betting on, who are they putting their money on, and who should you bet upon to win the big game, at least tonight. Let's start off with tonight in a Fox Business exclusive. He's the hottest hand in the Las Vegas sports bookie world, Game Sports Network CEO and co-founder, Kenny White. Kenny, great to see you again. Thank you so much for joining us exclusively. And my first question is obvious. Where is the bet flow? Are they putting it on Brady or is the world betting on Roethlisberger? Uh, we're just so excited football is back. This <laughs> game tonight is a bookmaker's dream. Um, the money is distributed equally on both teams right now. A little bit of money is coming in on a little bit lower scoring game because it's supposed to rain tonight, but I don't think that'll matter. I think it's going to be a fun game. Brady and Roethlisberger are both going to have big nights. I think by the end of the night, you're going to see the bookies in Las Vegas needing the Pittsburgh Steelers, though. Okay, so let's put up what the, what the people are doing here. They're betting more, do you think, on, let, let me just be clear, more on Brady than on Roethlisberger. You're saying evenly more. for the teams. They're betting more on Brady right now, just a little bit, not, not significant. But I think by the end of the night when they kick off tonight, uh, there will be more money on the New England Patriots than the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, all right. Um, and, and, you know, the Steelers know that. They're out to really win this because that's real smash-mouth football when it comes to Steeler world. I know this being a Browns fan, Kenny, and you know I'm a Browns fan, so I do expect you to tell me how they're doing. But in the meantime, let's talk about the most popular matchups, quarterback versus quarterback, for, I guess, this first week and a half. Well, the, the first one, Tom Brady, obviously, on yep. Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And then he's up against Aaron Rodgers in our game hot roster. Those are the two best quarterbacks, I think, in the NFL right now. Also, we have matched up Peyton Manning and Eli Manning, uh, the brothers going against each other. Eli going against the Cowboys. Uh, Peyton Manning going against Baltimore. But with a new head coach, Peyton Manning should have a great season. Obviously, we all know he's great. But... This could be a re another record-setting season for Peyton. Also, Andrew Luck is now moving himself up in discussions as one of the top three quarterbacks in the NFL. The Indianapolis Colts uh, are one of the top four teams with the, with the best chance of winning the Super Bowl this year. Andrew Luck is matched up against Drew Brees, uh, who will be in Arizona taking on the Cardinals this weekend. You know what stuns people? That there's going to be $95 billion bet on college and NFL football, $93 billion of it. Kenny will probably be illegal betting. But as you look at that, we thought it would be interesting to show what other organizations bring in $93 billion in revenues. And you look at some huge publicly traded companies. I mean, we found Boeing, Siemens, Nestle, IBM, Hitachi, BMW. I mean, it dwarfs the NFL, which brings in only $7 billion for the 32 teams. But should, should gambling just simply be legalized in this case? Well, when you're talking about 95, 93 of the 95 billion, probably in, in a gray or illegal area, yes, uh, that money should be taxed. It's, it's great entertainment. Um, it is skill. It, it's skill to pick the winner of this game tonight. Who's going to win? Uh, how many points are going to be scored? What quarterbacks are going to have a better game? That, that's a lot of skill to know that what's going to happen. I wish you could tell me who's going to win the Bulls or the Bears tonight here at the floor of the New York Stock Exchange because the Bears are coming back 